So we are in the actually quite unusual sunny Trafalgar Square. Um, we just interviewed a f with the thunderstorm last night, especially with the thunder. But you, you know, I was filming that actually. I literally went out my anyway. Sorry, we're we're we're, we're diverse. We're, we're diverse. Um, Diversing, you know. No, no, no. no. Here we go. <laughs> Diversifying <laughs> the workplace. We're, 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 um, we're digressing. <laughs> we're digressing. Okay. We're digressing. Okay. Um. So um. Or regressing in some people's. So. So. We're, 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 yeah. So we're in Trafalgar Square right now. We just asked a few people. We actually asked the. In terms of you know getting people's opinions, um, we asked someone. I think the most unique one we had today was the guy. Um, guy? Uh, the guy oh, yeah, yeah, literally just talked to. The, yeah. Oh, the one with just. The one. Just, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, unique. Uh, unique. Yeah, 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 yeah. He's a, a very unique character. Um, he had amazing eyes, though. Uh, no word of a lie. I swear, he had green. He had amazing eyes. Okay, but I'm just listen. I, I don't feel that's weird in any way. Guy had amazing eyes, but anyway, um, I think I, I guess like the most important thing, just getting people's um, opinions on, you know, like the Gritten's cards that. I guess that we're producing and it's just great to get people's opinions I guess like for me getting although they're you know Afrocentric cards getting it from literally just people that European people you know like, like people that are born from here I think it's a great it, thing it, it makes sense because at the end of the day they're part of the culture of the Western society as well so if, if you're gonna have these products there it's gonna be next to the Onyable cards it's gonna be next to everything else that you usually find so it's important to get their opinion, see how they're seeing it, if they feel like we're infringing in their, Most definitely. In their what is it called, Most in their definitely. own culture. But yeah. at the end of the day, this Britain and America are meant to be these bastions of assimilation, so it shouldn't be any problems. And from the people that we've seen so far, they seem to be okay with it. They seem to think it's important that um, our cultures keep that heritage, keep that language flowing, because mm. they know that once the um, our parents' generation, when everything's all axed off, then what's the, what the flow of conversation is just done it's in our language anyway. Very, very true. Because we were talking to another people that we talked to today as well, which was near um, the uh, Westminster Bridge, I guess. Yeah, Westminster Bridge basically was um, two Americans, um, two Americans from um, Maryland. Is, is how they say it. We usually Maryland. pronounce it Maryland. Um, sorry, Maryland is what most of like my mum will call it Maryland basically, but. Um, Maryland, Baltimore. I'm gonna try to say my my um, American accent. Maryland, Baltimore. M Mar okay, I okay, no, I give up. But um, th th uh, she did kind of mention stuff towards because we kind of let them know. Listen, once our parents, like we said, you know, that are they are first generation. Like once they kind of go to me, I see them as gatekeepers. You know, for you know upholding. Afro culture, you know, um, Afro heritage, especially the language, which is more important. Like my mom, for example, she speaks not just um, Yoruba, but she also speaks um, a more, um, I guess, uh, native, which is called um, Ijebuibo. Um, she speaks that fluently, and I'm like, wow, like, I don't speak Ijebuibo. Um, I don't speak Ijebu fluently. Um, I, I understand it to an extent, but Yoruba is what what I really know, you know. And Stephen here as well understands it, but. Kind of, kind of, kind of letting them know as well that you know they're the gatekeepers. Our parents are the gatekeepers, and once they go, what's going to happen? You know, so that's one of the most important things I feel that you know this is kind of bringing to um, Western society and Afro Afro Europeans, so to speak. So, you know, um, where, where did sorry, we've what other places did we go? What other locations did we hit before today? We've done others before. What other locations? I wanted to give a quick description on them as well. Do you remember? Was it um, Peckham? Peckham. 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 What do you think about Peckham, actually? What do you think about Peckham? It's all right. It's all right. In terms of like the people, um, I mean, there's a lot more Afro, you know, I guess people, afro Afrocentric people there as well. But um, Peckham was very, very interesting. Here we didn't see as much black people, if I'm honest. We didn't, because um, it's Westminster type side. So, um, but Peckham was cool. I mean, do, 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 do you remember? I actually don't remember. I've got a brain blank in terms of who we interviewed. Do you remember? What? what? I completely forgot. Yeah. So we interviewed um, two young ladies f um, from Ghana that spoke Tree. Um, they took a uh, card, I think cards with them as well. Um, we had some um, cards in the Tree language, and they took them as well. And th again, they were very surprised. I think it just, get, I think getting people's reactions is amazing to me because it's like, like I said, like these people aren't seeing this stuff. 
like in their language like even more so in their language that like it's you know they, they may see african prints or african type style cards but they're not seeing it in their language so when i give it to them they're like oh wow and they're saying it i'm like wow because i can't like i can't actually speak your language so when you say it back to me you're like oh snap afishapa which is um i don't know if i pronounced that wrong which is um merry christmas in ghana tree that was amazing so those kind of reactions is i guess what we do it for but yeah you know on to the next one hopefully um hopefully there's hopefully there's more to come and we get some more more people's opinions so amazing thank you thank you very much peace bro that bro, can i just say that american girl was gorgeous i'm just gonna the short one that's it i can't remember